crack right into it. First and foremost, man, what, 48, 72 hours ago, you, uh, you, you battled the elements with, with the crazy hurricane. Yo, a hurricane couldn't even stop CJ, man, uh, from Staten Island and all over the place. Just talk about just uh, how crazy it was, man. Did you think, was there any doubt you were going to make it out there considering the weather? I mean, um, I believe like the day before, um, they had shut down the, the, the festival stage, mm -hmm. which is like the outside um, performances for Summer Jam. So as soon as I seen that um, get canceled, I, I started having doubts. I was like, oh man, they probably gonna cancel the whole festival. The whole Summer Jam is over, it's over, you know. I was trying to, I wasn't trying to think too bad, but um, you know, then, then Sunday came, it was still raining, it was still nasty outside, but you know, we pulled through, man, we made it happen. You know, there was a little um, bumps in the road, you know, during the process, but that's it. We, we, we made history that night. Yo, it was insane. And, and without giving out all the spoilers and, and what you had up your sleeve, did, did most of the surprises all come through? Because, I mean, I mean, it's not – you alone was dope, but Montana, uh, Dream, though, the, the Wu-Tang, man, Ghost Ray, all those fellas, man. Yo, did all that go accordingly? Did you have to pull strings? Did something not go down? It was a few hiccups. Um, like, I, I think something happened with meth, like, coming in the building, like, through the whole COVID testing. Mm -hmm. So, like, I – I don't think he was like he was he wasn't even gonna make it on time like for the set and then um i think like they had rushed him up like they went somebody went to go grab him downstairs and they had rushed him up to, to the stage but um something happened over there and then um even uh for faruko's uh when, when, when him him arriving was a little a, a little hiccup too mm -hmm. like he wasn't even gonna make it on time it was it was it was a lot going on but um we pulled through now it was it was epic and you know of course i gotta we gotta bring up dream doll man and because of, of course her presence alone was dope but uh you know little freak of course one of the standout tracks off of the deluxe loyalty over royalty project uh i mean and now she's officially on the same squad man over at winter records just talk about yes, where that sir. relationship stems from and and her coming through man and you know she, she's a she's a new york native as well for sure yeah now nah, um we we always were, you know, in contact with each other when, when you know, um, Whoopty first came out, you know, she was a fan of the record. She actually she actually did a um, a remix to it. I don't think it ever came out. Um, she did, like, a Whoopty freestyle, and um, it was super dope. And then ever since then, um, you know, we had a good relationship. We, we came up with Lil Freak. Um, I sent her that record. She jumped on it, killed it. And then ever since then, you know, we've been tight. Um, and, and during the Summer Jam... Uh, festival when it got canceled, she was supposed to perform um, on the outside festival, and they and TT announced that it it got canceled. So I was like, damn, um, I'll just bring her on my set. You know what I'm saying? Um, we'll do a little freak together, and then I'll give her another another slot for her song. And then um, and that was really how that went down. And then she was just like, yo, thank you so much, you know, um, for the opportunity. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't do that for. for artists these days you know what i'm saying so i was like it's only right i felt like no for sure man and you know just kind of keeping it with the new york discussion french montana man you know it, it's one thing to get a few photo ops of course you guys did the, the, the nyc remix with rowdy but you know to have him executive produce uh loyalty over royalty man i mean you guys just have such a dope close-knit bond where in the world did that stem from <laughs> it's pretty much the same thing you know um uh... You know, him reaching out, you know, just showing love and support, you know, especially to me coming out of New York, you know, young artists coming out of New York, he just wanted to just, you know, um, show that love. So, you know, the first time we linked up, it was just like, it was crazy because we just, we just bonded so fast. Um, you know, we locked in the studio and I think like within like two days of me being at, you know, being at his house, we, we recorded like six, seven records. So it was just like, it was just super, super crazy, the bond that we had. So, so as soon as we linked up. No, for sure, man. I guess how important is that that bond, man? Because, you know, the, the coastlines are nice. You know, Cardi, Busta, Dev. I know Busta shows you a lot of love, man, but but it just <laughs> seems like, like it's another level with French. I, I think I saw you guys, I want to say it was Miami or Atlanta. Uh, what, Super Bowl weekend you guys were out there with Rick Ross, man? We was, at, we, was in, um, we was in Miami. Tampa Bay. Yeah, in Miami. Oh, it was Miami? Got you. Oh, Tampa? Yeah, it was Tampa. You're right. Yo, yo, keeping tabs on you, CJ, man. But, I mean, is that just something that, like, feels like a forever bond, man? Because, like, when French, like, really, like, grasps onto, you know, uh, Free Max B and all that, man, like, he, yo, there, there's a forever bond right there, man. 
Nah, for sure. You know, um, it's that's that's really hard to come by nowadays in this industry. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, it's hard to come by real friendship. You know what I'm saying? And, and and real genuine love. There's a lot of you know. There's a lot of fake going on. And, you know, people, you know, smiling in their face, but, you know, don't really mess with you behind your back. But to, to really get that genuine support and that genuine love is, is super dope. So, you know, from French to Buster to, you know, a few other artists is just like, you know. For sure. Dope. Yo, and I got to ask you to CJ, especially as you started to blow up, man. I was like, you know what? If and when I get the chance to talk to CJ, I got to throw this his way. Uh, yo, what title is more kind of exciting for you, man? Uh, King of Staten Island. No no disrespect to Pete Davidson. King of Staten Island <laughs> or King of New York, man. Uh, I know all the New York artists want to be modest and say, no, 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 we're all a family. But it's competitive, man. Uh, King of Staten Island or King of NYC. Well, what kind of drives you a little bit more? Um, To be honest, I don't really, you know, I don't really pay attention to stuff like that. But um, I would say Staten Island only for the simple fact that, you know, that there was nothing that really, you know, came out of Staten Island since Wu-Tang. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I would, I would have to get that crown for, from them, which I which I think I, I did because, they, you know, they 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 showing so much love to me. And, and especially after that summer jam. Crazy. Um, you know they 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 you know they they love me you know what i'm saying so I, I would have to get that from them like i would want them to pass that down pass that you know that throne down to me so if, if i got that from them then then i'll be named that but as of right now i'm chilling man yo man, it, i'm just working it, exactly no i was just saying yo the energy keeps on going with you too man i mean like i, I think everyone just expects you to kind of slow down a little bit and it's like yo it, it's my time to shine right now man yeah, not for sure. Once you got that spot a spotlight on you, you gotta just keep it going, man. Once that flame is lit, you gotta just keep going. You can't you can't slow down. Oh stop. Exactly. Except for when that baby arrives, man. Yo, yo, congrats <laughs> on that. I, I know that was crazy, man. Everybody was just bugging out. I, I was looking at the yes, uh the, the code signs in the comments and all the congrats. Yo, a lot of big names were, were in the comment section, CJ. Yeah, but uh sure, talk about that sure. excitement, man. Congrats. Man, it's, it's it's a blessing, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, a lot of people, you know, never have that opportunity to, you know, um, share that experience and have that experience with, you know, having a having a kid. Um, so just like finding out was just an amazing feeling. Like I was just, I just felt super blessed. So, um, yeah, man, new life. Listen, yo, we we need the culture collaboration ASAP, man. You know, G Herbal's <laughs> got his little baby, man. All the babies are, are running hip hop right now. Few more things I gotta throw at you, CJ. You know, especially with 9 11 around the corner, man, uh, Jay Z uh, is gonna celebrate the 20 year anniversary of his iconic blueprint. We've been asking a lot of folks we're talking to, you know, what blueprint of Jay Z's, whether it was the ownership, the music making, the collaboration, whatever it is, um, ownership especially, uh, you know, any particular blueprint of Jay Z that kind of inspired you uh, as you, you know, sought out this type of stardom and fame? Man, pretty much everything Jay does. You know, I've been I've been following Jay since I was young, since I was a kid, five, six years old. He always inspired me. Um, you know, just I have finally got the chance to actually meet him um a few times now. And the first time it was just like I feel like I seen a ghost. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> I had I had I ran into him at the Rock Nation building a couple months back and I was just like, Wow, because like, you know, you never get to see Jay in public, you know, or outside um and that feeling was just incredible i'm like wow this is really him you know what i'm saying and just you know shaking his hand and you know him dapping me up just felt it was an amazing moment i was just like whoa i'll never forget that but um yeah pretty much just everything that jay does man i follow everything when it comes to the business moves and you know the the the, the songs he throws out there once in a while when he feels like mm-hmm. it, you know it's just it's crazy a lot of a lot of artists can't do that so Yo, and one thing that's really dope and unique about you, CJ, and trust me, I'm watching the time, man. I'm squeezing in a couple more questions with you. But, you know, the energy source, man. I, I've yet to hear a record where it seems like you even need to take a breath, man. Like, yo, you just, uh, the energy, I mean, workout goals times a gazillion, man. Just talk about where the energy source comes from with you, man. Man, pretty much just, you know, I try to have fun, you know. Um, I try to make my records, you know, just because I've seen how, you know, Whoopi reacted to the kids, you know what I'm saying? And and, and and that's super important to me. Like, I got I got a lot of kids as, as fans and supporters, so I just try to stay connected to them. Um, you know, the, the whole social media, the TikTok thing, you know, everybody making, you know, challenges and doing dances to my records. I try to just keep it in that lane. Um, 
be it, man. I just I just want to stay connected to the kids pretty much and just have fun with my records. That's it. That's that's what I really look forward to. Yo, King of TikTok is the next title we're gonna go for, man. And finally, <laughs> yo, CJ, I would not be doing uh, the the community service, man, uh, without of course giving you a moment to really talk about Replica. We, we know that's coming right around the corner, literally in the next few days, man. What in the world is going on with this, man? Can people relax off a of uh, whoopty and enjoy Replica for a minute? Yeah, one hundred percent. You know, um, it's basically just a. Uh, it's just, it, uh, in my opinion, it's a part two to to the record that me and um, me and Alafa had dropped a couple months back. It's called La Mama. You know that that record is st it's still going crazy mm -hmm. as we speak. Um, it's pretty much just to add on to that. You know, just to give you know that 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 vibe. You know, people get people dancing again. And, you know, um, just celebrating life you know what i'm saying that's 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 what kind of record that is but um yeah that, that, that's dropping real soon in the next few days so look out for that got you look man congratulations especially with the baby on the way we're keeping tabs on you cj when time frees up man we want to do a uh, continuation of this where we're going to add a few more questions to you but i can't thank for you sure. enough for coming through man appreciate you man all right cj take care man take care